kids. I'll tell you. Right, that'll do for that. Now, let's have a bit of a bloody that's still not coming. Just having a bit of a talk to myself here while I'm getting everything organized. Wait for a second. There we go. <clears throat> I'm just giving it a bit of a share. Don't know who's there yet. Haven't seen anything. Won't be a moment. Oh, jeez, kiddos. We're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, oh yeah, are we? Uh, uh, uh. Hello, Guinevere. G'day, Shane. Here you go, mate. Thank you for your help and everything. Yep, and uh, Brisbane's definitely a no-go, Guinevere. Unfortunately, it sucks. But um, yeah, there's they just won't let us in, which is a Tad annoying, but yeah, it sucks. Anyhow, here I am. Oh, hello. There you go. How are you going? Hope everything is good where you are. And if you're there and you haven't said hello, say hello. Oh, g'day, Sue. How are you there? Hope everything is good. Um, cool. Thank you, mate. Um, I had a crazy, crazy day, um, organizing all official, official bank stuff and business stuff, stuff that I have no idea about because I'm fundamentally a fairly lazy person, but time to start doing things properly. G'day Kerry, how you going? Hope everything is good. Hope you're well. So yeah, you're gonna paint a bit of a, probably end up being a bit of a vignette maybe, something like that, but a uh, good little sketch, little exercise in possibly in negative painting. Um, oh yeah, painting around things, obviously. So just before I, and the reason I'm a tad, a tiny bit late coming on, is um, my bloody tripod broke. My expensive tripod that I paid like 300 bucks for like a few months, a couple of months ago. One of the legs snapped. Like, seriously, snapped. So, I don't think I'm going to negotiate that. Might be a bit of a gaff tape job for a while, but anyway. Them's the breaks, that's life, bloody blah, blah. There are worse things. There are worse things. Okay, so here's what we're going to be looking at. Here's what I'm going to be doing a demo of tonight. Believe it or not, <clears throat> this is a photo from Los Angeles. Not my photo, um, but uh, I did get permission from whoever it was at the time. Oh yeah, Shane. I think um, yeah, everything in New South Wales is still on. I'm I'm there regardless. Um, but yeah, geez, it's all a bit crazy at the moment. Um, yeah, but this picture was taken in Los Angeles. There's all all sorts of you know illegal fruit vendors and produce vendors that get around on the side of the highways, being dangerous, and nothing ever really happens to them. And finally, someone. A cop decided to do something about it, which is weird. 
but I don't, I'm not going to paint anything here with masks or I'm not going to paint the fruit like exactly like that. It's all going to be a massive impression. Um, but what I, what I do like is the composition. I think it's cool. I want to have a bright brolly, put everything, uh, everything in the background blurry, definitely, but quite kind of gray. I want that, the colors to really sort of jump out at us. Um, it's a bit of a drawing, um, but yeah, <laughs> the badges won't be anything. This will just be three figures and, uh, just standing there. It's not, not going to be any action. No guns, no, uh, no tool belts, no radios, definitely no masks. <laughs> we see enough of the masks. Um, but no, all good. So good, good little composition. And I'll explain a bit more about what I, what I'll put in and what I'll leave out as I paint it. Um, but here we are. Let's get cracking. I'm just going to make that a bit smaller. Get rid of my head. Maybe put this up here somewhere because it's going to be a bit of a uh, bit of a vignette anyway. So yeah. So the the funny angle of the dangle as far as the um, board goes and why you're missing a tiny bit. I might move that up there. That might save a bit a bit more space. And why you're missing a tiny bit of stuff at the bottom is um, purely because of that tripod leg. It sucks. So I'll have to suss that out in the morning because I've got more stuff to do. But anyway, I will crack on. I got um, to draw it up. Haven't drawn, haven't done anything in advance or anything like that. I want it all to be fairly um, spontaneous. To sketch, like I want to want it to be a fairly well, detailed is not the right word, but um, I want it to be a sketch that's uh, it's got a bit of stuff and it's got a bit of substance to it. So, yes. Okay, here we go. All right, so I do have uh, access to the comments. So if you've got any questions or anything as we go along, don't hesitate to ask. I'll answer them if I can. All right, pencil. Usual stuff, uh, usual materials. There's nothing funny going on. Um, on the, the Bao Hong paper, that's just what I had cut up already. And Give a bit of a spritz to the old palette. The um the wells don't the paint wells don't really dry out, but obviously the the washes the washes on the shot side do a bit. But right, here we go. Let's <clears throat> really basic kind of shapes. I'm not. I don't want to. I don't care about having, you know, have that guardrail be a, an obvious guardrail. It's just going to be a bench or something. That sort of stuff doesn't matter to me. It may to you, and that's fine. doesn't matter to me. I'm just sort of getting the big shapes in there where I want them. That'll just be a bench of some sort. That will be a, a bit of a... Um, Bit of something for these boxes and stuff of fruit to lean on. Um, it's all good. I do like so. Let's just sit figure in. I like the shape of the figures, like even this bloke right in the ticket. I like his shape there. I think that's cool. The way he's sort of looking down, it's fine. I don't care that he's right in the ticket or anything. They're just cops of people too, you know. Um, but no, I'm just 
generally getting a shape in there. They could just be talking, doesn't matter. Um, this one here. It's quite animated with the hand. I like that gesture as well. We got uh, the Frudo of the illegal immigrant selling produce over here. That's fine. Who's there? If you haven't if you haven't said hello to me yet, say hello. I want to know who's there. Yeah, roughly there. Why not? We'll make the umbrella look a bit nicer and a bit more. Painterly, dare I say, when we do its thing and make sure that brolly stick matches up with the bit at the top. The brolly knob, we'll call it. And let's just put another little table here because it is one, a little card table. Can you guys hear me okay? Everything all right there? Box, some watermelons, some pineapples, whatever. Doesn't matter. Just checking out the gestures of the figures, all looking all right. Gonna treat that as a bench, yeah. I'm not gonna. I was thinking of making it transparent in some way, but bench is good. It tells a story. And let's go through about there. Roughly about that for the sketcheroo. Hello, Kerry. Good day, Maureen. How you going? On this lovely evening, it's a lovely evening down here. All right. I'm in a right mess here. That's okay. Got very dirty water. It's also okay. What I do want to do. Look at that. Holy shit. That's bright, mate. That's bright. Yeah, there's this one. We'll go next to it. Mm -hmm. There's a lavender. I've got that colour. There we go. This is how detailed I want, that I want bugger all detail. There's a pinky colour. Let's do that. That comes down a little bit there. Just sort of feel my way through it and seeing how, uh, how it looks and how it's feeling to me. Looking okay. Got some of this stupid bright yellow about there. And over here. Start about there. 
this green. Let's get some of that. Yeah. Gross that green. I'm just putting a bit of turquoise in it. Primary it up a bit. And obviously, you can see how careful I'm being. Never be too careful. It's a fool's game being too careful. A little bit of neutral tint just to darken up the stuff that's underneath there. Right, so there's two two main bits of colour in this piece. We're talking obviously this brolly, and we're talking the fruit itself. So don't panic too much. I'll do just want roughly. Too neat, tidy. That'll work for now. <clears throat> and that's all good. Let's work this the same way with the fruit. Let's go with the fruit. It's all impressionism here. You don't want any detail. It's just an impression of what's going on. It'll tell a story in a second once it's all in there. That'll be good, be nice. Orange bags. Don't ever get tempted to paint a whole bunch of Spheres, a whole bunch of oranges. You'll be there forever and it won't look as good. But we need to add some depth and do little bits of depth and little bits of shadow. So it might be quite orange, and it is. Because my orange is that uh, transparent orange, and it's quite sort of a burnt colour. Just throwing that little bit of yellow in as well. It's cool, good. Oh, let's go with some other yellow. Here we go. Bang, bang. There's a whole bunch of lemons and mangoes and whatever's there. I got that there as well. Let's get a bit of that in there. My fruit shop's pretty good. I like it. This is how you've kind of got to approach this sort of thing. I think. I think it's a great way to approach it because if you now, if you look at the photo and you look at you squint your eyes around the fruit, that's when your darks come in. So I'm just going to let it sit there for a second while it's still wet and moving around, and I'm going to come in with a little bit of dark shadows here and there. But I do want to get these watermelons in. Some pineapples. There we go, there's a couple of pineapples. Right. Boxes, all sorts of things. Just trying to remember that that's a table, tabletop. 
Then I'll draw those afterwards, so that's fine. Now, a little bit of shadow colour. It's just a bit of grey that I've I've got hanging around. Just want to get rid of a few of these little uh, white highlights. A couple of them are okay. Just don't want too much because you want to you want to make sure you distinguish the boxes if you can. taken care of just thinking making sure it's all working all right which it is so far happy with it a bit of thick paint here and there doesn't hurt these strawberries or whatever they are I can't see properly it's cool and a couple of bags even though they're not black I know but yeah they are in my world <laughs> Go, Bobby. Okay. Figures. Straight into it. This dude's bald, but I'll put a bit of grey stuff there. And I don't usually paint like this. It's a very different technique or um, technique's probably not the right word. Very different approach, formula, if you like, to what I usually do. Um, I usually just sort of go for it. But it's just a little bit, a little bit more involved, but it won't be later. I'm still treating everything with the looseness it deserves, um, but it'll it'll be a bit different later on. So far, Shane. So far. <laughs> Yeah, so they're not cops, they're just people hanging around. Just picking up little bits of colour. It's right, that's good. Now this dude, I wanna make him a bit more significant. He's got a hoodie on, give him a blue hat. Blue doesn't look real good, but that's okay. Right. 
Have to fix his shape up. It was a bit, bit wonky. Bring his hat up a bit. Whoop. Yeah, he'll be right. He'll get there. He'll get there. I just want to put a bit more shadow. Just dropping like there's a purple color here. Just dropping bits of that in. A lot more colour, but that's okay. Because now the grey starts. Well, when I dry it off, anyway. Actually, what I want to do, let's just do this. make that road just wanted to catch that and have it bleed down a bit for this road surface I was going to dry it a second ago but thought better of it thought I could use that wet paint to my advantage I think just in here this stuff and I'll uh I'll dull it down again in a second. Hey Trish, how you going? Trish, you know um, we're coming up to Newcastle. I've got some work on in a couple of weeks and probably gonna go for a drive up to see you guys one day. Wouldn't mind actually having you meet the kids and stuff. I would love it. All right, so I'm just going to get a bit of black in there. Well, not black, it's just dark, sort of purpley, shadowy color, so we can just let it bleed. We don't want it to create a reflection or anything, but um, just something. And I am going to dry it at this point. So, Harry hair dryer comes out. Here we go. that I want to do a, a smaller boxes there of something. Something, I don't know what it is, but it's just another box of some kind of fruit. <laughs> Ah, uh, thanks Vic, getting there. It's all about to change once it dries off. So I'm already kind of starting to look at the piece and see, try to figure out what I want at the end. And I will get some bright orange paint and indicate those oranges a bit later. I reckon that'll make them pop a bit. Uh, however, we carry on with this stuff. 
time to paint negatively in grey. Mixing, just grabbing whatever's around the palette. That's all your greys, that's your best greys, all that stuff. This is what I mean by painting negatively. You're cutting around things and painting the negative space. And it pushes things out. If you get the tone right, it can be quite effective. It's not effective here yet. It will be in a second. So I plan to go quite dark on this gray, um, but just not yet. Just getting little bits in there. I don't care if overlap a little bit, whatever. Bleeding and all that's good. No problems. Uh, I've got a natural aversion to vignettes, I think. Every time I go to try and do it, I just can't just fill the page up. I always do. So I'm just trying to leave a little bit of highlight there on the figures. I don't care if I lose it, but try and keep it if I can. Some of it is good. Now, this is where I want some mixing on the paper. So I've just gotten that weird blue color. It's the Paris blue that I, it's in my palette. And I'm just putting a little bit of it here and there and it'll drop in and give us some uh, mix on the paper and give us some nice greys as long as I treat it right. It's a bit, bit brown. Not too bad. And the more you can let it mix on the paper, the better you'll be. So that's where watercolor creates its uh, magic for you. You, know? you want to, you want that. Looks like a bit of a dog's breakfast so far, but it's getting there. It's all, it's all in me noggin at the moment, which is no good. Got to get it out of the noggin onto the paper. But we should be right. So I wanted that to be deliberately quite dull, and it will dry off a lot lighter and everything, and I'll probably still muck around with it. But I want this green to be quite bright. Brighter. I don't want that bleeding. It's nice. It's lovely.
looking a bit nutty so far, but that's all right. Okay, let's <clears throat> get some of that going. We need to remove this because it looks like a weird halo. Let's be honest, it all looks like a weird halo at the moment. But while it's all wet, you can muck around with it, manipulate it. You'll be fine. dark over here so this is that whole time in your painting that you should be looking at your painting and your vision seeing what you reckon don't worry so much about what you what you think it should look like but think rather about what where you want it to take you so when you're painting like I, I had the intention of a fully blank, uh, almost black, grey uh, back, backdrop there for this. But when I sort of mucked around with it, I think it's going to be looking really nice if I put some dark there and have some cast shadows going on. So, you know, work with it. Don't get bogged down. Okay. That's cool. Happy with that. Actually, really quite happy with that. It looks really nice. What I do want to do is just put a big bit of thickish, kind of yellowy greeny there. All right. Cool. All right, job done. Go home. Wait, I am home. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, cool. Just looking at it in the mirror. Yeah, all good. Happy. Just trying to think of things while I can manipulate it. I can muck around with texture and whatnot. It's good. All right, I will start to dry off, and I want to get it kind of halfway and do a little bit more of that texture thing. And the umbrella, I believe, and I'll dry it off and have a look. I believe it might be a bit weak. I think I've got to just suss it out a bit and get some volume, tech, volume and uh, shape. It's lost its shape a bit. from the water jug and just because it's dried off a bit if I splash some stuff should make a bit more of an impact it was just a little bit too uh, too wet before First thing I want to tackle is this umbrella. Just want to get that right, and should be okay. Oh, it's a bit, uh, a bit funny looking. 
It's only because it's a different subject, what I'm used to. But I'm oh, cool, happy. It's all good. We're going all right. What I need to do... I need to... See, what I'm contemplating here is I need to either darken the flaps that this that are hanging over the front or leave them like they are and lighten the bits. I think darkening would be better. It's just with a grey, it's not it's not that big a working <clears throat> oh yeah it's a bit of a dodgy umbrella dodgy umbrella it's all right actually i want to just oh I'm not happy with the broly. Yeah, it'll be alright. We will survive. It will turn out. It'll be cool. That's just... It's just an umbrella. Don't worry about it. And just mess it up a bit. Let's get a couple of... Strength, strengthy bits in. Something so simple, it piss you off. <clears throat> All right, let's just do a broly stick here. Get on with it. Get on with our lives. All right, so I'm just looking at the rough shapes of these legs that are coming down on this little card tabley thing, and that's fine. That's all it really needs. Um. bag or whatever let this guy in shadow a bit more saving this lady shadows just sort of really embellishing them to sort of set the scene a bit better oh, i like that i like that bleeding i think i think my problem was it just felt a bit neat and tidy which i as you know i don't really like i'm not into that i was like what the hell cool that's good that guy's cool he's fine i do want to do Uh, splash a root, why not? Red and green are obviously complementary colours, so you should try to 
get them in where we can. For something that was only going to be a little sketch, just give me the shits. That's all right. It's life. Everything's just sort of hasn't been. It's not strong enough. So it's okay. This is why we paint. We go through stuff. We figure it out. And we make it work. Procrastinating is what that was. Okay. All right, let's have a look. It's quite bright. That's all okay. What's pissing me off is these two figures have got to connect and that's better and you might you'll hear artists talk all the time about connecting your shapes and it's it's literally connecting your shapes don't think it's some weird wanky art term that you're not privileged to it is literally connecting your shapes Don't want to lose this guy's shape, which I'm almost going to, almost doing. A bit of warmth. Just need a bit of warmth. Just to simplify, because we're in silhouette mode. Yeah, the others are looking all right. Happy with that. All right. Dry, 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 electro dry. Here we go. Hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Let's have a look at some shadows. I'm just going to make up a couple of little shadows and then get into some highlights and I think that'll that'll get us going. I like this. I like it. It's fun. Um the temptation is to kind of uh finish the sentence it'd be good the temptation is to do a big shadow along here going that way mm, yeah just trying to think yeah I can do that I can do that I can do that I'm just want to wet a couple of bits there so that we don't get all hard edges everywhere Kind of looks a little bit Crayola Caddy amateur at the moment. I reckon the shadows will kind of tie it down a bit. Yep, it's already better. A little bit. Doesn't make sense yet. I've got to do that. I've got to be a bit bolder. It's better. Yeah, I'll just get rid of the severity of it. <clears throat> cool. Yeah, it's a good bit of fun, that. Good bit of fun. All right, so dry and highlights. So a couple of softer edges. It's good. And I just want to thicken, dark, darken. Those oranges will come out in a second when I 
whack some opaque stuff around. All right, let's have a look. Yeah, lost the dolly a bit. That's all right. Life. Completely different. There we go. I'm going to put some directional lines because I can. And it'll make the shadows pop out a bit better. And we get some opaque stuff and see what we can do. Bunch of oranges, why not? Go there. Okay. All right. So my workshop for this Thursday is open. So I've got a notification from a few people that want in. If you do want in, it's a couple of hours and we do two paintings, a bit more in depth, a bit more talk, slower. And uh, if you want in, just let me know. It's 50 bucks and you'll get access to that private uh, unlisted link on YouTube. And you can always leave me a tip or buy me a coffee at PayPal and stuff as well. Thank you so much. Now, let's have a look. All right. I'm just looking for some little areas that I can bring out and just highlight a bit. Lavender is quite nice for this sort of thing. Make this guy. It looks like Mr. T or he's got a hoodie. Okay. Why not? 
put a sign. Let's say. Uh, let's put ice. <laughs> and some jeune. Timing, is it? Get some lemons. Okay. Whatever. Fiddling now. It's okay. I'm allowed. I'm allowed. It's my picture. All right. Don't know what that was. It's okay. <clears throat> and I reckon we're just about there. Need some white. It does need some white. Little highlights. Definitely lost the brawly a bit, but that's all right. We'll survive. We survive, mate. Just some white gouache that was left in the brush. Create a bit of smoke or something. Just let it go for a sec. <clears throat> it's not bad. I actually don't mind it. It's uh, it's very loose. I use that word in lieu of messy, <laughs> but. It's all right. Got a bit of spunk about it. Well, you know what I'm tempted to do? Let's see if I can. Just saw something. Saw something that may work, it may not. Find out in a second. Ah, oh, shit. like some weird cat. <laughs> that was worth it. <laughs> ah, it's a good, good bit of fun. Good bit of fun. Shane, I'll check that question out in a sec. I'm not sure... That is yet.
I reckon that actually actually works a bit. It's very bright on the screen, but it's a good little uh, good little exercise, bit of fun. Um, I might do it again. I like it. I like the vibe of it, but I, I just uh, it'd be all right if the umbrella was one color, even if that color was bright. The rainbow is a bit difficult. But it's all, yeah, you know, if you think it technically, it's all, um, it's all over the place. There's colours everywhere, it looks like, you know, Bozo the Clown just vomited all over it. But it's cool. I like it. It's good fun. Um, uh, I don't think, um, Shane, I'm not sure, trains. I don't think that was locked. I think that was a normal one on the on this channel. The only ones that are, I've only got a couple that are unlisted at the moment. Let me just check that though, to make sure. Um, I thought there was because I've only been doing these sort of private ones for a couple of weeks, so I don't. There shouldn't be too much. Um, too much there that you, you can't see, but I'll just check it for us. Um, no, the only ones that are unlisted from private demos is one with the boat and fishermen sailing on the boat. Um, it was a Tuesday night demo just a one one demonstration and there's two more that were the last couple of workshops which was um tazzy uh, just down on the derwent some there's some nice clean water and a boat in Brittany. and there's last week's which was the hay bales and the uh, trees they're the only ones i've got that are unlisted what i'm actually going to be doing <clears throat> uh is eventually putting the unlisted stuff and just filming them and putting them on my website um yeah, via vimeo and and you'll be able to pay however much for each individual demo so and that's a cool thing you, that way you own it then um, um so, <clears throat> I'm just looking at everything that's been up recently. Hmm. The only one I've done with with trains was it was a while back it was on the facebook stuff i think so it's all if you go into the facebook demos um and just look through the videos on the facebook page you'll be able to track them down there for sure if you find it and you see if you find the pictures show me and i'll point you in the right direction definitely too easy 8th of august that was only last week. Um, I streamed one just out of the, just off the cuff on the 8th, which was a um, really quick demo of a little church and a car and a figure and stuff, I think. Um, yeah, bizarre. Not sure. <laughs> the dog... Yeah, the dog was fun. <laughs> it's um yeah, it was a funny picture to paint this one because it's like yeah, I had every every intention of um every intention of making it sort of grey, like grey bar for the coloured umbrella and the fruit, but it just didn't pan out that way. <laughs> just uh, too purple, purples it up too much. But that's okay. That's what you. That's what you get. That's what you got to move on with watercolor. So this was, 
rough as guts, but it's all it's all part of the fun. I really like the shadows. I like the scene. I will do it again. It's a good one. Um, had a lighthouse boat, a lighthouse, a boat, and another of a war. What? Well, I can't see any videos here from that date. Let me just check Facebook there. Because hmm. August the 8th was only last week, or, you know, not too far, not too long ago. So I should be able to track down whatever's going on. Oh, come on. I'm just scrolling through now, Shane, to try and track it down. Just the notes. What does the post say? Um, I can't see anything that I've posted on the 8th of August. Um, oh, where's... Scary. Scary how the communications with current schedule... Save the image if you need to. What? It sounds like something I'd write. Hang on, let me look at something else. Um, oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. I've, I've found the picture. Um, yeah, I've found the picture, Shane. Uh, that painting of the trains, that one was done on Facebook Live uh, quite a while back. I'll see if I can find it for you. No, I can see it. Uh, it's all cool. I found it. Um, and that boat, the other boat and that wharf was done in the pri my first private one on here. So the, there's a private one available for 50 bucks for that boat and the jetty. And the other one's a free one that's on Facebook. Well, I'll find that uh, free one for you, for sure. Cool as. Well, thank you very much, everybody, for sticking around. Thanks, Trish. Uh, appreciate that. Um, this is a bit of a, a bit of a dog's dinner tonight, but that's all, it's all part of the fun. Um, and you've got to be adaptable when this stuff happens. So if you, this is why you paint to, to learn and, and get going. And I look, I, I like it, Carrie. I really like the scene. I've got to, I just didn't prepare enough for it. I, I thought I was like, that's the, that's the thing. I had a plan, but it didn't really come out like that. I'm, do you know what I'm really happy with? Really happy with the figures, even though they're just sitting there. They're, they're not, they're not just stiff. They're, they're animated, even though they're not waving their arms around or anything. You can, you can tell they're in conversation, and it all looks cool from that. And I might have a completely different opinion of this in the morning when it uh, all dries off and it's uh, the light of day and all that, literally. But yeah, it's just a bit brighter. I'd be 10 times happier if the brolly wasn't there. I may do something with the brolly. It might be worth it. 
but um but yeah thank you for sticking around and having fun and having a watch and don't forget to anyone let me know if you want to be into this uh thursday's workshop thank you very much have a great night and i'll talk to you guys soon thank you bye bye